Oh, yeah, we're well, Lee dining off the Kingstonians. 3 1 win here at Enfield Town. Lee in wet conditions, but I guess we're used to that with a what felt like a fairly packed work team, especially after Marvin went off early. How pleased are you with the result today? Oh, very, 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 very happy with the, um, the performance of the lads um, to go 1 0 down um, and then come back 3 1 against Enfield is a tough, tough place to come. Um, yeah, I was very, very happy with the result, obviously, and the performance, uh, first and foremost, really. Uh, it was patchwork to gate. <coughs> Credit to the boys of Freddie playing right back as a central midfielder. Um, I had obviously Greg come in from, from Gillingham, who's, who's, who's presumably a striker, playing at right wing. And boys had to fill in today and, and, and work hard, and, and, and that's what they've done, to be fair. Very hard. Um, showed a lot of character today. Did we ride our luck a little bit? I mean, yeah. it would work yeah. three times. Of course we did. Of course we did. Um, they're uh, the boy up top nine, excellent player. Um, what what team is it? Brad Watkins. We've done really, really well for him. And, and yeah, we did ride our luck a couple of times. Um, but we dug in at the end and took our chances. Um, and, and, and that's what it's about, isn't it? You've got to have, um, if, if they arise, you can take them. We've had, we've had games far at home. Um, two in last week, we've had three or four one ones in the game, and not scored and lost one nil. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, it's hard to be hard one for um, for Andy to take, and, and I completely understand that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's if three points on the road for us, so that's good. How pleased you with the work rate right today? Like? Excellent, excellent, excellent. They showed, uh, said to my half time, like, what will win you this game is if you dig in and, and work the socks off, and your first and second, you're winning them more times than you're not. And, and that's exactly what um, what they've done to me. They showed great character. Obviously, Andy's had to go and push on to try and get the equaliser. Like brought on Victor and Jerry were back very, very quick, fresh. And um, yeah, we've hit them on the counter. So that, that happens sometimes when you're trying to get the equaliser. So. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned there's a bit of a patchwork team. So you know, what what was behind kind of a few of the absences that we had? So basically, I, I ran through it. Leo Chambers has gone back to Billericay, but okay. hopefully, fingers crossed. If, he can um, he can do what he's doing over there. I can have him back, maybe on a permanent. Maybe we we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'd love to get him back on a loan or a permanent. If that's possible. Um, Louis's gone back as well. Um, having said that, I think he's left um, Billericay now and I'm looking for a, for a new challenge. Um, who else? Sean Francis is back for Wednesday, which is a massive plus for me. Um, Manu, Manu will be available for Saturday. He took a, I don't know how he got through the last two games. His legs black and blue, so he'll be back. Um, Daniel Wakaji done a warm up today, so he's nearly back as well. So we have to look at Dan and, and, and see what we do going forward. So yeah, we had, I think we had, uh, and then obviously top it all off. Marv goes out in the first minute. Yeah. He's, he's, he's um, completely pulled his hammy. So um, hey, that was very very happy with what we've done. And, Mc and McLaren suspended, I guess. Kev sub suspended. Mitchell Goff is now sent out to um, to um, Ashford to get some games. He suspended again since his last special was today, so he's now available. We we'll be recalling him. Um, mate, at the end of the day, they're in the squad, and, and when they're called upon, whether they start or they come off the bench, um, they have to show me that that they're good enough to, to, to start. And the boy today, everyone showed me what they were about. And Wednesday, sorry, senior cup game. Um, and hopefully, hopefully the game's on. Yeah. How much of a priority is that for the rest of the season? Um, yeah, it's a priority. Of course, it is. We'll feel our strongest side that we can feel. Um, and um, it's the only chance of us getting silverware. So, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go for it and, and, and give it a good call. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Oh, listen, the league is obviously the most important thing. But um, yeah. I think we get another two or three wins and, and that side of it's fine. Um, yeah. we've, got, we've got two or three games on some teams above us. And I think Burgess Hill below us, we've got between one and three games on everyone below us. So um, I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I thought Connor Hunt done well when he came on. He's come on after after a minute. Um, he hasn't played properly for two months since he's done his Um And you can see the quality of what he's about. He's a, he's a very, very talented player. Um, he was playing in the League 2 last year for Stevenage uh, at 20 years old. So, um, great finish that he, he took his strike so well. Very good goal. And um, obviously, I had to drag him because he, he was never planned. He planned to come on for maybe 20 to 30 minutes at max. So, he, he's put a shift in for me. So. Great. Well, congratulations. Today. Good win. On to Wednesday. Thank you. Nice one. Have a good